Hey, 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 Aquarius, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Monday. Um, I almost said January. June 15th to the 16th, Intuitive Love Tarot read. This is for my Aquarians. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you all today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Aquarius, if you would. Before you leave, I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. And yes, thank you so much. We just hit 4,000 subscribers, so thank you guys. This is your channel. Okay, I do appreciate it. I'm excited and I am thankful for all of the support that I get for this channel, truly. Okay, I'm going to grab four cards here, Aquarius, and I'm going to get a channeled message from Spirit for you. All right. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, the info is in the description box below to my Etsy shop. All right, so we have the Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, Aquarius. The Knight of Swords. Five of Pentacles. Queen of Cups, the Magician card. All right, Aquarius, let's get this message from Spirit. See what's up. <laughs> okay. How do I say that? Um, I think I could just say it the way that they told me. Uh, they're saying, and I quote, satisfying your erogenous zones. So whatever that means for you, um, can you, I, I'm almost... Uh, afraid to ask for clarification Aquarius but um, and anything else anything else okay they're wanting you to be creative Aquarius as well which is interesting because <laughs> the same space where those sexual urges come and the the you know is it is the same place that creativity stems from right your sacral chakra in your root but your sacral chakra and that's creativity and that is sex okay this make if you don't release this this is why they're saying if you don't release this, there is going to be major frustration and possible anger. So it will come out in different ways. Okay, Aquarius. I think that's the first of its kind, um, a message like that. But okay. All right, Aquarius. So we have magician card card of gemini and the knight of swords <sighs> okay if you're trying to all right they know what i'm thinking and they're saying yes the knight of swords i feel is you so this is communication that you're trying to manifest with somebody but the Knight of Swords can be a little bit harsh, right? Um, this is why the message, okay? So before you communicate, if this is trying, what you're trying to manifest, that's fine. But be careful. Think before you speak or release before you speak. You know what I mean? I think there is a fear here. I'm feeling anxiety, um, fear about expressing your feelings to somebody and, and feeling left out in the cold with the five of pentacles here. Tell me about the magician card. This could be vice versa, but I'm really, tell me about 
Yeah, this is somebody from the past. This is possibly a childhood sweetheart. Definitely a past life soulmate. There's a lot of past shit coming up because Venus is in um, retrograde in Gemini. Four of Swords. You're thinking about expressing your love. You're really piecing out and you're thinking about this. Um, you need to get that sacral chakra going. <laughs> It, even if it's just creativity, just do something creative, okay? Think of what you can create with all that energy. If you've got that much energy, you can, you'll surprise yourself. That's peacing out. Yeah. So you're feeling left out in the cold from somebody and you're hiding this. You're keeping that to yourself, this sadness, because I am feeling um, a five of cups energy too nine of cups you're wishing to come in from out of the cold or somebody else is with you oh this could be from both ends all right they're saying it's it's like a mutually shared energy here so what is my question was going to be what is this other person feeling for you ten of pentacles here you could have been married to this person before um, or just had um, a long-term relationship and abundance together. That's possible. So what is your advice, Empress? Your advice is to use your intuition, I'm feeling, with the Empress. This is Taurus or Libra. <sighs> Connect with that Empress inside you or Emperor. Just feminine energy. Can Okay. Thank you. Connect to that feminine side, even if you're a masculine, all right? Because that feminine energy is the queen of cups. That intuition, that expression of love, okay? Spirit's wanting you to connect with that. And this will expand not only your consciousness, but I'm, I'm feeling like your, your aura, your energy field. So I'm feeling it like widen. You need to open up and embrace your feminine intuitive side, that expressive softer side, the softer side of Aquarius. Maybe I'll name it that. Remember that used to be Sears logo, the softer side of Sears <laughs> years ago. Now I'm dating myself, mom. Okay, one more card for Page of Pentacles, which was at the bottom of the deck. And this is all about a message. And this goes along with this Knight of Swords message. Knight of Cups, this is your advice. Send that message of love, that offering of love. Okay, that's creative too, in and of itself. How do I send this message of love? What should this message of love say? How do I express it? You have to use your creativity in order to do that Aquarius at the bottom of the deck make sure that you're healed okay make sure that you're healed and you can do this by connecting with your feminine side connecting with that intuition when you go within okay that's healing too so I hope that helped Aquarius please drop a like below share and subscribe if you already haven't if you are interested in a personal reading with me that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions information to my Etsy shop can be found in the description box below. You have yourself a fabulous day, Aquarius, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Namaste.